Hi, I'm Slavic with iDrinkCoffee.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the differences between a dosered grinder like I have on my right here and a electronic or doserless grinder like I have on my left. I'm going to go over how each one is used and grind some coffee to show you the differences so you can make a decision on what you prefer. I'm going to start with a doserless grinder. Uh, and when we say doserless, uh, we use that word because it doesn't have a doser on the front. It actually does do electronic dosing uh, and it's done per uh, shot. So uh, this is the Mazer Type A electronic, so the interface is at the top. I've got my single and I've got my double dose and I, that's programmed using time. So when I press one of those buttons, it grinds for the corresponding amount of time. And I press my double button and I grind directly into the portafilter. and then the grinder stops after, after the dose is finished. Now I'm going to show you how a dosing chamber works. I'm going to remove the cap, and underneath the cap you'll find a finger guard, uh, this part right here. I'm actually going to remove this to show you the inner workings of the dosing chamber, but it is important to have this in place because it is a safety feature to prevent injury. Just held in place using two screws, which I'm going to remove. Now with the finger guard removed, we can see the dosing mechanism. This star-shaped wheel is what does the actual dosing. You'll see these triangle-shaped cavities, and those represent a single dose. So in order for this uh, dosing mechanism to work, each one of those has to be covered with coffee. So we have to have it at least filled half of the way, which I'm going to do shortly. But when I pull this lever, that's how the dosing gets done. It turns clockwise, and basically what the doser is doing, it pushes the coffee and this metal plate here kind of levels it off and dispenses a single dose into your portafilter. That's the proper use of a dosing grinder. So that's how you get your dose. And I'm going to show you right now how it works with coffee. And to do that, I'm going to begin grinding. And you see the coffee comes into the dosing chamber and this grinder has a timer on it. However, some dosing grinders are automatic, which means they have a sensor inside the dosing chamber uh, that when it's empty or when it's uh, at a low level, the grinder will turn itself back on. So now as you see, I have coffee inside the grinder and I can deliver a dose and I pull the lever twice and I have a, two doses. Again, it's not entirely full. I'd want to have more coffee for it to consistently be dosing a single dose. But you pull this lever in order to dispense coffee into your portafilter. So I've showed you the intended design of the doser grinder. However, that's not practical for most home users or lower volume users because you have all that coffee sitting inside the dosing chamber, which is going to go stale. So, what you'll see a lot of home users or smaller volume users doing is using the dosing chamber just as a dispenser. And the way they do that is you turn your timer, this grinder has a timer or some of them have a switch, whatever it is, you turn it to start grinding and then they'll just pull the paddle continuously uh, until they get the dose that they want inside their portafilter. That's okay there, I should have enough coffee inside there, like that. And one of the benefits of doing it this way is that the doser breaks up any clumping because it's mechanically moving the coffee. So uh, with a smaller burr set, you get uh, far less clumping than you would on a comparable doserless grinder. Nowadays, doser grinders are kind of going the way of the dinosaur. Uh, but they are a piece of espresso history and the way espresso was made for a very long time. And some people still do prefer them. The ease of use definitely is in favor of the doserless or the electronic dosing design because you're grinding directly into a portafilter and you're not wasting as much coffee. If you have any questions about the differences between dosers and doserless grinders, please feel free to reach out, ask us questions. We're always happy to help. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos, more comparisons about everything to do with coffee. Thank you for watching and have a great day.